I'm Ichikawa of Heiwa Real Estate Asset Management. Thank you very much for coming to analyst meeting today, despite your busy schedule. Now I'll explain financial results for the 22nd fiscal period of Heiwa Real Estate REIT and our future management policy based on the material distributed to you. Please turn to page 4, summarizing topics of the 22nd fiscal period. As for external growth, there was no acquisition or sales of properties in the 22nd fiscal period. As I discussed at the last analyst meeting, we made changes to the management guidelines and clarified our policy to strengthen collaboration with Heiwa Real Estate. As for internal growth, we were able to maintain high occupancy rate in a 21st fiscal period. Also, in a 22nd fiscal period, we maintained high occupancy rate and increased occupancy rate slightly. Besides, as we announced in June, we promoted branding of property names. For some properties, we consolidated property management business. On the financial side, in the 22nd fiscal period, we raised about 18.7 billion yen for redemption of investment corporation bonds and for refinancing existing loan, leading to significant improvement of financial base. Consequently, R&I raised its rating on us one notch to triple B plus with a stable outlook in September 2012. In addition, we acquired A- rating newly from JCR in October. And we announced first capital increase through public offering as Heiwa Real Estate Lead in November 2012. Next, please look at page 5 and 6 in parallel. Results for the 22nd fiscal period compared with the 21st fiscal period and comparison of performance forecast with results are indicated. Compared to the 21st fiscal period, operating revenue was up 72 million yen to 4 billion 295 million yen. As for the breakdown of the increase, 113 million yen was from full period contribution of the property called Hirokoji Aqua Place in Nagoya we acquired in the 21st fiscal period. Minus 12 million yen was from existing office buildings and minus 28 million yen from residents. Negative factors for existing office buildings include decrease in rent level due to change of tenants and decrease in rents because of request for rent reduction, although the number of such requests is coming down. As for residents, the 22nd fiscal period was an off-peak season and the number of new tenants and departures was down from the 21st fiscal period, which was a peak season. As a result, key money and contract renewal fee dropped. Operating expenses were 2 billion 501 million yen, up 88 million yen from the 21st fiscal period. 41 million yen was from full period contribution of the newly acquired property in Nagoya. 85 million yen was from existing office buildings. As I explained at the last analyst meeting, we plan to implement repairs ahead of schedule in a 22nd fiscal period and expect it to spend about 100 million yen for repairs ahead of schedule. However, a part of work was not completed and slipped into the 23rd fiscal period. As a result, increase in expenses from existing office buildings was 85 million yen. On the other hand, expenses of existing residents were down 28 million yen. As I said earlier, the number of new tenants and departures was down from the 21st fiscal period. Consequently, agency commission and contract renewal fee were down. As for non-operating expenses, 
we completed redemption of investment corporation bonds in October. For that purpose, we borrowed funds based on commitment type term loan agreements. As a result, interest expenses were up. Interest expenses on investment corporation bonds were down. On the other hand, interest expenses on funds raised for acquisition of the property in Nagoya were recognized in the full fiscal period. Consequently, non operating expenses were up slightly. Net income was 1 billion, 49 million yen, down 23 million yen from the 21st fiscal period. Please look at net income in a chart showing comparison and performance forecast with results on page 6. Net income was 1 billion, 49 million yen, which was 58 million yen higher than the forecast of 990 million yen. The first factor for that is higher occupancy rate of existing properties. Revenue increased due to an improvement in occupancy rate. Secondly, about 31 million yen of maintenance and repair fees were slipped into the 23rd fiscal period. As a result, income was up. EPS, net income per unit, was 1,507 yen, which was higher than the forecast of 1,423 yen. Originally, 95 million yen of negative goodwill was to be applied. However, as income was higher than the forecast, negative goodwill applied was 36 million yen. And we decided to pay DPS, distribution per unit of 1,560 yen. Please look at the bottom chart on page 6 indicating portfolio condition. The number of properties was 88 with no change. However, period end and period average occupancy rate improved, both of office buildings and residence. Portfolio NOI yield was 4.69%, which was a slight decrease from the 21st fiscal period. It was mainly due to accelerated repair works that I mentioned earlier. Please turn to page 7, indicating external growth. I will not explain changes to the management guidelines, as I already explained at the last analyst meeting. Please look at page 8. You see graphs showing internal growth or history of occupancy rates. As you see in the graphs, occupancy rates were very high in the 22nd fiscal period. Not only period end occupancy rate was high, but also period average occupancy rate was up from 95.55% in the 21st fiscal period to 96.25% in the 22nd fiscal period, as shown on the bottom left. On the bottom right, as we had questions at the last analyst meeting, we showed improved occupancy rates of three low occupancy properties, including office buildings and residence. Please turn to page 9. We changed consignees and PM services of two office buildings and seven residents. As for office buildings, as I repeatedly mentioned, PM services are gradually consolidated to Haver Real Estate, and PM services of two office buildings were transferred to Haver Real Estate in a 22nd fiscal period. It means Haver Real Estate now provides PM services to 12 office buildings out of 22. As for residents, on a regular basis, we verify occupancy rates or performance. Based on that, we implemented regular reviews and made changes this time as you see here. 
I think change in PM services for office and residents is one factor to maintain high occupancy rate. As for branding on property names shown at the bottom, there is a slight delay in office buildings partly due to requests from tenants. However, for residents, we changed names of 23 residents and will continue to do so. Page 10 onwards indicate financial and financing status. As I said earlier, we raised as much as 18.7 billion yen in a 22nd fiscal period. Firstly, for 9 billion yen redemption of investment corporation bonds, we borrowed funds based on commitment type term loan agreement. As you see on the upper right, the loan is split into four tranches the Nomura Trust and Banking and Mitsubishi UFJ Trust and Banking were newly added to lender formation. As you see in the middle, we refinanced term loan 2 and 6 with loan in three tranches, that is to say, 9 billion. 710 million yen was refinanced with loan in three tranches with loan period of four years, seven months, five years, seven months, and seven years. For Heiwa Real Estate REIT, the longest loan period so far was five years, five months, as I discussed in a 21st fiscal period. And this time, we were able to take up the five year, seven months loan and a seven year loan. That means we made progress in extending loan periods. In the financing of term loan, Shinsei Bank was newly added to lender formation. As a result, the number of lenders increased from 10 to 13 banks. We also steadily reduced financial costs, extended, And diversified loan periods and diversified lenders. Please look at page 11. In order to hedge risk of rise in interest rates, we will purchase interest rate caps as we did the last time. For term loan 9, we will purchase interest rate caps at the end of January 2013. As you see at the bottom, after application of interest rate caps, ratio of fixed rates will be 52.57%. We will gradually fix interest rates. As indicated on the right, in a 23rd fiscal period, in December 2012, after capital increase, We borrowed new funds and acquired properties. The status of loans is indicated here. We borrowed 1 billion 520 million yen from Sumitomo Mitsui Banking Corporation and a Bank of Tokyo Mitsubishi UFJ Limited with a loan period of two years, five months. Please turn to page 12 indicating financial strategies. You see change in maturity ladder. As shown here, we completed redemption of investment corporation bonds and implemented significant refinancing, leading to diversification of loan maturities. As maturity ladder was significantly diversified, I think diversification was almost completed. Going forward, we will implement Further lengthening of average remaining years to maturity and reduction of interest rates. Please look at page 13, indicating status of lender composition. As I mentioned earlier, the number of lenders increased to 13. I think we secured stable fund procurement base through the increase of lenders and diversification of fund procurement amounts. Please turn to page 14. 
As for condition of total interest-bearing liabilities, LTV at the end of the 22nd fiscal period was 45.6%. As shown in a chart on the right, interest rate has been reduced gradually. Moving on to page 15, I will discuss capital increase through public offering implemented in December 2012. With the purpose of steady growth of the asset size and increase of stability of the portfolio's quality and profitability, in addition to the financial base, we implemented first capital increase through public offering as Heiwa Real Estate REIT in December. And we acquired three office properties from Heiwa Real Estate. As a result, investment ratio of office properties and asset size increased. As for the details of the offering, through public offering and third party allotment through over allotment combined, we issued about 100,000, to be precise, 99,550 new investment units. The amount procured was 5 billion, 240 million yen. With this 5 billion, 240 million yen and the borrowings I just mentioned, we acquired three properties from Heiwa Real Estate at 6 billion, 120 million yen. Comparison of various numbers between before and after public offering is shown at the bottom. The number of properties was up from 88 to 91. Ratio of office properties was up from 35.3% to 38.2%. Asset size increased slightly from 132 point one billion yen to one hundred thirty eight point two billion yen. I think we were able to acquire them in good conditions. As a result, average NOI yield was up from four point six nine percent at the end of the twenty second fiscal period to four point seven four percent. Occupancy rate also slightly increased. LTV was down one point one percent which slightly increased capacity for acquisition. We saw improvement in all the items. Page 16 indicates an overview of properties, including two office properties and leasehold land for one office property. As for Kobe, Kyukyoruchi Heiwa Building, acquisition price was 2 billion 310 million yen. Kobe Kyukyoruchi is a prime office area in Kobe. Especially, this building is in good geographical conditions, close to a station. After the Great Hanshin earthquake, Heiwa Real Estate rebuilt the building with concerted efforts trying to contribute to reconstruction. For Mitahewa building, we acquired leasehold land. Haseko Corporation leases the entire building and uses it as their headquarters. As a material for capital increase, Republic offering didn't include construction completion date of the building. We put the information in this material. Construction completion date of the building is May 1981. It's been about 30 years since then. Heiwa Real Estate started renovation works for air conditioning, electric power receiving and substation equipment and elevators five or six years ago. They will be almost completed in the 23rd fiscal period. So this building does not have problems associated with aging facilities. Although I cannot give you details, the tenant is Haseko Corporation, and we entered into a long-term fixed-term contract with them. 
Sakae Minami Heiwa Building is a property in Sakae area in Nagoya. Heiwa Real Estate has many properties in Sakae area in Nagoya and is very strong in leasing in Sakae. Occupancy rate is now 100%. Going forward, one tenant will evacuate, however, the next tenant has already been secured. This is a building enjoying very high occupancy rate. In acquisition of properties this time, we placed emphasis on yield. In consultation with Heiwa Real Estate, our sponsor, we selected properties which will contribute to improvement of quality of portfolio and yield. Two properties are in local cities. However, as Heiwa Leo Estate will continue to provide PM services, we think we can expect stable earnings and occupancy rate. Page 17, please. This page shows forecasts for the 23rd and 24th fiscal periods. DPS will be 1,640 yen for the 23rd and 1,600 yen for the 24th fiscal period. Basically, there is no change from the press release we made at the time of capital increase republic offering. I'm sorry, this chart is slightly difficult to see. As for operating revenue, rental revenue of three properties will be added. Rental revenue will be up about 200 50 million yen from the 22nd to the 23rd fiscal period. On the other hand, expenses will also be up. As I mentioned earlier, and also at the last analyst meeting, we are conducting repairs ahead of schedule. In the last analyst meeting, I said fees for repairs conducted ahead of schedule will be about 100 million yen in a 22nd fiscal period and about 100 50 million yen in a 23rd fiscal period. However, as I mentioned earlier, repair work for 31 million yen was slipped into the 23rd fiscal period from the 22nd fiscal period. As you see in the middle on the right, amount for repairs conducted ahead of schedule in a 23rd fiscal period will increase to 181 million yen, the number you see in the bracket. As a result, EPS in the 23rd fiscal period will be 1,423 yen. However, based on our policy to pay distribution based on our performance in real terms, as indicated in the middle on the right, we will apply 172 million yen of negative goodwill and plan to pay DPS of 1,640 yen. In a 24th fiscal period, there will be no more repairs conducted ahead of schedule. On the other hand, there is a chart showing public charges and taxes on the lower right. Fixed property tax and city planning tax on the properties we acquired this time are included in acquisition cost and not recognized as expenses in a 23rd fiscal period. However, they will be recognized as expenses in a 24th fiscal period leading to a difference of 52 million yen between the two fiscal periods. In consideration of this factor, we plan to pay DPS of 1,600 yen in a 24th fiscal period. As for the changes from the 22nd to the 23rd fiscal period, known operating expenses will be down 60 million yen. We have been reducing financial cost as we did in the refinancing we implemented in a 22nd fiscal period. And we plan to benefit from such initiatives. At the bottom, key assumptions for both the 23rd and 24th fiscal periods are indicated. We made slightly conservative forecast for occupancy rate compared to the results of the 22nd fiscal period. Please refer to the details later. Please turn to page 22. Details of management status are indicated. 
you see internal gross data. As for office buildings, as you see in the middle, there were 11 departures and 14 new tenants in the 22nd fiscal period, leading to a slight improvement in occupancy rate. At the last analyst meeting, I talked about the reasons why new tenants are moving in. I said the number of tenants moving in for positive reasons is increasing, such as floor expansion or better location. There is no change to the trend in a 22nd fiscal period. Out of 14 new tenants, 8 tenants moved in for positive reasons, such as business expansion or floor expansion. Four tenants moved into our buildings due to rebuilding. On the other hand, there were 11 departures. The reasons for their departures include withdrawal from business because of bad business performance, downsizing, and closure. Those are the reasons for seven departures out of 11. Four tenants moved out to other buildings for expansion. As to other characteristics, period of vacancy or downtime got very short. Although we had many departures, we were able to fill the vacant spaces in a relatively short period of time. Downtime was 3.4 months, which is a very low number in our data. I suppose tenants' demand for moving is becoming more evident. Average rent-free period increased from 4.2 months in the 21st fiscal period to 5.4 months in the 22nd fiscal period. Rent-free period increased, but it does not mean market conditions deteriorated. It just means we had more requests for rent-free period from tenants because of their own reasons. At the bottom, average rent levels are shown. Average monthly rent per tsubo at the end of the 22nd fiscal period was 16,251 yen. Hirokoji Aqua Place is included in the calculation. It is down about 2% from the 21st fiscal period. As I mentioned earlier, as there is still a gap between market rent and our contract rent at the time of tenant turnover, Rental revenue goes down, impacted by the gap. Besides, we still have requests for rent reduction. Excluding Kayabacho Heiwa building, there is still 12.5% rent gap, which is flat from the 21st fiscal period. For the past three periods in a row, rent gap has been 12 or 13%. Therefore, for B-class buildings, the type of buildings we own, it would take more time before rental revenue starts increasing. Six months or one year after rent of S-class and A-class buildings start increasing, I think rent of B-class buildings like ours will recover. Please take a look at page 23. As for residents, new tenant rate and turnover rate are about the same every year. Those rates in a 22nd fiscal period were almost the same as those in a 20th fiscal period. Odd numbered periods, a peak seasons, and the number of new tenants and turnover tend to be high. Even numbered periods, like the 22nd fiscal period, are off peak seasons and a number of new tenants and turnover tend to decline. We have been seeing that trend in recent years. In the middle, there is a chart showing the number of new tenants and departures. Below that, you see it says up and down. It shows whether rent was up or down after tenant turnover from the rent of former tenants in a 22nd fiscal period, new contract lengths of 100, 
29 residential units were up and 292 were down. Compared to the 21st fiscal period, the ratio of units with higher contracted rent decreased. The ratio of units with lower contracted rent was almost the same. In peak seasons, demand from tenants is strong, and we can be bullish in rent negotiations. That's a difference from off-peak seasons, according to our analysis. Average monthly rent per tsubo slightly dropped again in a 22nd fiscal period. There is still about 1.8% rent gap in residence. Average monthly rent per tsubo was down 0.43% from the 21st to the 22nd fiscal period. As I said, rent gap is 1.78%. In every fiscal period, rent comes down 0.5% and rent gap is narrowed as well. However, as there is still rent gap, we expect average rent per tsubo will continue to decline slightly. Please look at page 25 showing our future management policy. In the middle, you see the overview of our major efforts after Heiwa Real Estate became our 100% sponsor. Heiwa Real Estate became 100% sponsor in a 16th fiscal period. We merged with Japan single residence REIT in the 18th fiscal period and utilized the negative goodwill arising on the merger, sold properties with low profitability and repaid loan with high financial cost in the 19th fiscal period. That means we implemented portfolio and financial restructuring in the 19th fiscal period. Collateral was standardized in the 20th fiscal period, and we acquired a building in Nagoya from Heiwa Real Estate in the 21st fiscal period. Investment corporation bonds were redeemed in a 22nd fiscal period. As a result, credit rating on us was raised and we acquired rating newly from JCR. As shown here, we've been increasing distribution gradually. After all those efforts, we implemented long-awaited first capital increase through public offering as Heiwa Real Estate REIT in December 2012. The size of capital increase was 5 billion yen, which was small. However, I think it was a very big step for Heiwa Real Estate REIT. As for future management policy, basically, there is no change to our policy. We explained to you so far. In external growth, LTV slightly dropped as a result of public offering, and we have capacity to newly acquire properties. So we hope to acquire properties if they are good properties. We also hope to aim for steady and stable growth. In internal growth, occupancy rate almost reached upper limit. We aim to maintain high occupancy rate. On the financial side, our strategy is to aim for further reduction of financial cost, lengthening of borrowing periods, strengthening a lender composition, unsecured status of loan, and further upgrading of credit ratings. We implemented public offering this time. I would like to achieve steady growth, increase distribution and share price, and create a situation appropriate for implementing another public offering. Although we are small, I hope to grow our REIT to be the one that will be able to achieve stable growth. For all of you who are present here today, I would greatly appreciate your continued support that concludes my explanation for today. Thank you very much.